So I arrived uh, Tuesday morning, ready to open, excited for another day, and noticed that the circuit breaker was off. And when general manager Rob Shell checked to see what the problem was, he noticed their circuit breaker had been missing. Pocatello police put on their Facebook page that Jamba Juice on Yellowstone was hit by circuit breaker thieves. And apparently, this has been a trend throughout Idaho. This has been a rash throughout all of eastern Idaho. Like a medical complex in Twin Falls had it happen Tuesday night also. They lost 11 breakers that day. As far as Barlow knows, this is the first time it's happened locally. So there's been 65 thefts from Boise to here. This is the only one locally that we know of. Lieutenant John Walker at Pocatello Police says whoever is doing this is doing it for a profit. My understanding is that they are selling these for substantially more than what the market rate used to be. People are making money doing this. What used to be attached to this wall was a circuit breaker that powered Jamba Juice. This is the same circuit breaker that the thieves stole Monday night. Now, Barlow told me that an estimated cost for reselling these circuit breakers could be up to four or $5,000. Walker added police are investigating the situation, but urged community members to call if they suspect something strange happening in their area. It's the town, it's our citizens on these kinds of cases that make the difference. When you see things, when you hear things, uh, when it's not quite right, we need you to call us. Shale also hopes people can do their part to look out for each other. Have everyone be on the alert, on the lookout. In Pocatello, I'm Julian Paras, KPVI News that works for you.